we're here in glorious Ballydoyle as we look forward to the Guineas Festival. The Curra, of course, Betway now the new official betting partner with the Curra. We're here with Aidan O'Brien, and what's turned out to be a glorious day, Aidan, and uh, because it's a wonderful time of the year to be training horses, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely, Tom. It's an exciting time, uh, obviously, coming into the classics. The sun is coming out, horses are starting to thrive. The the leaves are coming on the trees and the grass is getting greener, so um, great time of the year. So like when we're looking forward to the guineas and obviously a handful of horses run in Newmarket and then there'll be others go to the car and they, they all they all kind of live around here just as we've seen so far. Yeah, they do, yeah, um, absolutely. And most of the main horses live in this part of the yard. It's, it's, it's the part of the yard that gets the most sun. Um, this is where we start off uh, where we think are the best horses, but yeah. like obviously some horses improve some horses disappoint. Lo and the love you have is solving the puzzle. Is that part of the love you have? For I, I think it is, yeah. And I think it's trying to get the best out of every horse. I suppose that's life. It's all changing and trying to make things better and it's tweaking and there's a, a lot of stuff to be taught about. So you need all the hours in the day to think about. And uh, and it's big help when you, are, when you do love what you're doing and you're interested and, and uh, you have a great team of people around you and, and a great team of horses, um, you know, so. And, so that, that's the way, it's all big big team effort and everybody pulling together to try sort out those puzzles all the time and that's what it is, they're puzzles all the time, the riddles and you kind of have to just keep adjusting and changing really. You can't, I suppose, know or learn it, I guess, without constantly observing them either, can you? No, exactly, and, and there's no, no one size fits all, that's just the way it is and it's like what you said, it's all about watching them and observing them and see whether they're thriving or they're not or whether they're happy or they're not, they're relaxed or they're not you know so it's all different things whether they're eating or whether not or whether they're sleeping or not you know so it's all little different things and then whether they're getting heavier they're getting lighter um, it's all changing all the time i suppose <laughs> Joseph or Dunica went to you and said, we want to train, what, what was your reaction? I know, I listened, to, I listened, they were training their own horses anyway at the time. So they were training some of our horses um, and it was just, it was always going to be second nature to them and whatever they wanted or horses or whatever. And they were making the decisions all the time from very being very young anyway. So about horses, the horses they were riding and they were making suggestions and doing things and training them different ways and riding them different ways. And like, we just listened to it and went along. And, and like, like everybody knows, there, like there's no substitute for a young mind, you know. So uh, we were always very grateful to have them there and to be that interested and wanted to do it. So it, it, it just kind of happened. It never was discussed much, Tom, really. Yeah, that, that team element, the team here is just enormous and so important, isn't it? Yeah, no, absolutely. Listen, John and Sue and Michael and Dorian and Gay and Derek, they've always instilled that. It's all about the good people all working together and uh, everyone doing their best for the for the whole uh, operation really. There was no hierarchy here. Um, everyone just did their best and, and try, tried to enjoy doing what we were doing uh, like every day really. And is there do you feel pressure? Do you feel pressure from no, them no, or is no, it just what no, the horses are? Yeah, are there's there? no, no pressure really. The, the pressure is, is, to, is to get results really because there's so many people employed and, and the harsh reality of, of life is like we do depend on results to keep a business going. And uh, there's a lot of people um, working here together and a lot of families depending on this place. So we have to uh, get results to, in, to obviously encourage the lads to go and invest money every year. And, and they do invest big every year. So, and, and, uh, and I suppose that's where the pressure comes from, really. <laughs>